truly a blessing. Uh, number one, this organization, you can tell they do a really good job of uh, focusing on um, each player's development. And uh, you can tell they handpicked each and every one of us because of our growth through our college careers. We're competitors at the end of the day, and we want to win at all costs. So whatever it takes, whatever coaches need us to do, whether it's dive on a loose ball, go get an offensive rebound, go take a charge, we're going to do it. Definitely looking to play and um, show what we can do, show how hard we can play, and um, just try to put on for the city and be good role models and good players at the same time because we were all picked in the 50s. At the same time, we are blessed to be picked, but we all feel like maybe we're better or we can play with some of the guys picked in the first round or wherever. So we're just going to go in with that same chip on our shoulder that we did in college and try to prove people wrong. Jazz play a lot, so they're just excited to be here, and uh, and you know you be excited to be here also to, to support the, the young guys. So it's uh, it's just fun, you know. You, you you can really feel the energy and the excitement behind the behind our team. Well, welcome back, and joining us is George Niang. If you watched us last night on KJAZ 14 and the NBA uh, TV, you saw the debut of George Niang doing some sideline reporting. And a nice job. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, I've been working real hard this summer over that. No, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I mean, I think it's definitely something I want to get into, obviously after my career, but I appreciate the kind words from you two studs. Well, his nickname is Mr. Sideline now. That is Gorgeous Georgias. He's so fun, I love him. He's just so natural, fun, easy to talk to, and makes everyone feel so comfortable. Those are my guys. I, it's like it's good to see each of us kind of breaking out from our shell a little bit. I mean, Justin didn't have a great offensive game game one, game two we came back, and it's like Jarrell had a great game one. We didn't we both didn't play game two. He still had a great game three. It's like we just all keep feeding off each other's energy. Even when Justin was out today, he was still trying to motivate us and get us going. So I think the three of us have become really great friends and we're all feeding off each other's energy. Yeah, man, that's fun. You know, the fans are amazing here. You know, for, for the 50th pick, they treat me like I'm number one in a sense. So it's crazy, and, it, and it's, it's fun to be out here, you know, and, and enjoy the fans, and it gives us a good, a good boost, you know, going into Vegas. <laughs>